This is the Paranology's Infrascope, and it's an infrasound detection unit. It's uh, one of our experimental pieces that we've used. Since we've noticed that some of our EVPs are actually in the infrasound range, we decided to try to build a meter based around that, as well as, uh, you know, it's a great debunk debunking device. Um, you can use it in people's houses and uh, put it next to AC units and things. And if it's creating infrasound, it'll let you know. And that can also cause headaches and hallucinations and things like that. So it, it's a little difficult to set up. That's why it's still in our experimental stage. Basically, you have this knob right here on the side. And it adjusts the sensitivity. So you'll see that's on and off right now. And uh, that does not mean it's detecting infrasound right now. You want to get it to where it almost turns off, sort of like the flashlight experiment. And you can see here, I can barely touch it, and sometimes it'll stay on. That's a good indicator right there that you're set up pretty well. Now from back here, I can blow on the unit, and I'm about two feet away, and it goes off. So that tells you how sensitive it is. Um, so it does take a little bit of setting up to do, but it is a great device. Um, for setting things up. Now you can also do things like trigger objects. You can put an object on here and then once it's on there you can adjust it out and then ask, you know, hey can you touch that object or move it and if it does move it'll definitely let you know. So you can use it as a vibration detection device as well. But the diaphragm is uh, intended for use for infrasound. So it's almost like a reverse speaker. If you have any questions you can go to paranologies at yahoo.com or um, and, and send us an email or go to paranologies.com and chat with us. Thanks.